the James Webb Telescope. A lot of us around the world are waiting for the results of this telescope. You've probably seen our old videos about this telescope before, because we have a lot of clips of it before it was launched into space. But it seems like the news about the James Webb Space Telescope is never ending. This telescope creates news. Even if everything is finished, it could just take a look at the universe and create news. If you remember, around four months ago on Christmas Day, the James Webb was sent to space in French Guiana. We've said this before, but French Guiana is in South America. And this place is the start of a $10 billion telescope that had to be sent to space. Another interesting fact is that when this telescope was launched into space, a lot of people around the world started to like astronomy. And NASA says the people that are following the James Webb Telescope has grown a lot. A lot of people have become enthusiasts and they want to know what's going on. NASA is very proud of their work as well, and a lot of them believe that this is the most advanced piece of technology made by humans that it's being sent to space. And it's gonna show us the world in a way that we've never seen before. This is very exciting because it's literally gonna show things that we have never seen before. Aliens are excluded. We're only talking about humans. We don't know if aliens have seen them or not. If you've seen our video about James Webb's first photo, you've seen the first picture it took. It was pretty much a selfie of itself and the quality was very low and blurry. But the mirrors of this telescope is working day and night and it's trying to adjust itself. And that is why it kind of adjusted itself and it could take a better picture. This is that photo. James Webb pretty much took this star and it's using it to adjust itself. When you look at the star, you think to yourself, it's nothing special. But when you look at around the star, the little lights you're seeing are galaxies that are billions of light years away. And this picture shows, even though the telescope is not ready, but the results are amazing. Imagine what we're gonna see when it's actually ready. The telescopes on Earth have mirrors and they're also in pieces but they're adjusted by engineers on the ground. But the adjustment for James Webb is happening one and a half million kilometers away in the L2 orbit. You may ask, why didn't they put a one-piece mirror so it's a lot easier? You know what the issue is? The issue is, it has to go one and a half million kilometers away and it has to be launched into space with a rocket. And giant one-piece mirrors don't fit inside a rocket. And that is why they had to disassemble the telescope. And that is why the mirrors are in pieces. The mirror of James Webb is made of 18 pieces and when it was launched, it started to assemble itself. But do you know what's the hard part about all this? Is that all the mirror pieces that are in a hexagonal shape have to be adjusted in a way where the reflection hits the center of that tripod. 
Do you see the light coming off the mirrors? They all have to focus into the center of the tripod. In that case, it's gonna get the most clear image. This image makes us hopeful. Even though it's not ready, it can take a picture like this. James Webb is an infrared type telescope. The star you're seeing, do you know what it's called? To tell you the truth, the name is like a VIN number of a car. 21 letters and numbers. And this as a reason, there's so many stars in the sky that they are forced to name the stars like this. The star is nothing special either, but NASA chose this star because of its light so it could adjust the telescope's mirror with ease. They also gave it a shorter name as well, Test Star. If you look at the star and the galaxies around it, you remember an older photo. Hubble's deep field image. If you've seen our video about the best pictures that Hubble took, you are familiar with this image. In this picture, Hubble zoomed into a dark patch in the sky and took a picture. Each of these lights is a galaxy of its own. The brighter one are closer, the dimmer one are farther. I don't want our brain to start smoking, but I have to. These galaxies you're seeing start from a 200 light year diameter, and that's the smallest one, and it could go high as millions of light years in diameter. Just imagine the size of all these. And you should know, the Milky Way galaxy which the Earth is located in, is a medium galaxy, and it's 100,000 light years in diameter. NASA says when Hubble took this photo, it took it for weeks. It basically gathered all the light and then took the picture. But NASA continues and says that James Wick not only will it take a better photo, and it's not gonna take long as the Hubble Space Telescope. It could take a picture like this in a couple hours and this is very important because a telescope is not in use for weeks just to take one photo. Scientists that worked on the James Webb Space Telescope say that this is a hundred times better than the Hubble. Some people may ask, what kind of photo is this? They spent $10 billion and this is the photo we get? It's no good. But don't jump to conclusion. It still had to get adjusted. It might take 15 years. But that was a joke. Don't be sad. They announced for the space telescope to be completely adjusted, it's gonna be six months after launch. And right now, we're only three months in. NASA scientists say that in around three months, which is at the end of June, it's gonna be completely adjusted. And after that, we could expect it to take unbelievable photos of the space. Just imagine it could see the beginning of the universe and see how the first stars were born. We waited this long, we're gonna wait three more months. This telescope is gonna show us stuff that is gonna take our knowledge to the next level. When they reveal the first photo, we will let you guys know.